Right. Morning, girls and boys, boys and girls. Right. Uh, today we are going to be. Yeah, we're going to uncouple this grass cutter off the back. We're going to couple up the slurry tanker because my septic tank is full again. I think my leak off, my drain away from the septic tank must be collapsed. There's a big conifer edge near there and I think it's crept its way into the pipe and bunged it because it's not draining off. Even in this weather when we've had no uh, rain at all, it's still not draining off. So I'll take Charlie Bobson, we do uncouple that grass cutter and then couple on to the slurry tanker. Let's get motivated. And we need to couple up that trailer to get a load of ramble out of the garden. Go on, boys, get uncoupling. That's not uncoupling it, is it? Look at the youth of today. Look at that, the beast from the east. Come off the fucking rim, ain't it? Right, now that tyre's off the rim arch because we've drove it while it was flat. I didn't really think it was that far flat. I just thought it was underinflated a bit. So we need to uh, get that back on the rim now. But we have got up there. Well, I don't know where the end is, which is unfortunate. Yeah, fill this up, look. Uh, this look, that's got a tap. Uh, oh, hang on, is this one bust? Yeah, that one don't work, does it? Right, oh, that end needs coming off there. Oh, there, look. We're missing the funnel bit off this. It's meant to have like a funnel coming out that goes to like a like a slot like that. So then it, it can slot inside the tyre. But anyway, we'll just try it like we have to, Arch. If we have to make some, we have to make some, don't we? Let's try it first. Like everything around here, it just goes walkabout. Got legs to get on it. Right, open that. Use that thing, that's it. Can't use it as hotel. We have to make something now, and there's a tube. Yeah, that fits in it. That fits in it, Arch. So if I get a bit of scaffolding, weld it to there, and flatten the end off the scaffolding bar, that'll do it, won't it? Yeah. Let's do that. Have we got a bit of scaffolding bar somewhere? Yeah. Uh, that's aluminium, can't hold that. We shall go searching for some tube it. Aha. What's this? Go a bit, Arch. Oh, look at that. Look at that, look. Like a glove. Right, 
One thing to just bend that down a bit, just so it's a bit of a slot, so it can slot in the tire. Right, we'll give that another go then, Arch, now. Yeah, boy. Yeah, if you've never seen one of these before, all this is basically is a reservoir, what you fill with air, and that tap there, when you open that tap it shoots a load of air out of this pipe here and if you wedge it in your in your rim there you know because this this is going in there but it's not seated this 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 tire is not seated on the rim so it's just leaking out of it and when you shove all that air in it it should hopefully blast the tire out and then seat this tire onto the rim here that's the idea anyway let's give it a go Oh, it's not got it. Yeah, all we've done there is that I just pulled it. I just pulled the tire and Archie just lowered it down just to just so it grabs hold of this uh, rim on the side here. And now I'm going to try it again because the gap now is at the top and not at the bottom and the top. Are you going to do a try? Yeah, try it again. The compressor just blown off. I've got one more thing to try. I'm going to try it again like this and if it doesn't work, I'm going to take the valve out and in my van, I've got an adapter that can screw straight into the valve and then the airline straight in it because I think what the problem is, I'm not getting enough pressure through here through this tire inflator. But I'll try it again like it, and if not, I'll have to get all the gear and take the valve out, won't I? There, look, what I'm gonna do now is take that valve out of there, and then I've got that lot, which is a, a extension, uh, a valve extension, what I've chopped down and just put on an airline, and then put that direct into there, and then it's, having more air pressure flowing through it. But you ain't got that to go through a row, all the valves stopping it. And it, hopefully that should seat the bead, I'm hoping. That's the theory, Arch, anyway, isn't it? Yes, yes. Hi, Nanas. Right, we'll try it again, now I've got full air. Yeah. And now we've got full air going into it. The old waiting game again, isn't it? I thought it was just off this outer, but it's not. It's off the rim on the inner and all. The tyre struggle. While we're waiting, we're doing some preventive maintenance. Oh, it's blown off, look. Look, this is empty, look. One of my subscribers come and see me oh ages ago about a month ago i was meant to fill that up a month ago and i was walking we was walking around having a talk and that and we checked that oil of that gearbox in there and obviously it was on piss all and, and i've still forgot to fill it up so we're gonna fill it up now oh you got oh you've got a little funnel as well that all prepared for the job right this time i've lowered it down a bit the jack to put weight on that bottom bead you know like that not the roof off I'll do it under here now, this side. I think the other side's all right. I'll do it there, look. Uh, I only want to 
<laughs> Could do with a bit of tyre soap really, but you know, just to try and put it around the, the rim and just to help it seat a bit, help it slot on. What about some grease? Will that help grease? Might help. Oh, do will grease help? Yeah. What about grease? Oh, yeah. I don't know that, do I? Oh, I don't. Right, what the next little plan is to do is to get our dad and our Archie to push against that bit like that to seat the back bit and then I'll get me, me blaster in the middle. Yeah, should we try that? No. Right, I'm going to get a load of fucking grease. I'm going to try one last thing, put a load of grease around it and then try it. Oh, that lot. She's pushing that grease out lovely. Look. Beautiful. There we go. Chisel. Now I can clean my septic tank out. <laughs> What's the old saying? You've always got to fix it before you use it. <laughs> <Isn't> it? <laughs> fix it before you use it. .com. We're just going to find out where the leak is now so I can get a bump for it. You know one of them temporary repair bungs, what are never temporary, you just leave them in. One of them. Where is that screw? Here. Oh, that's it. Screw lock. Yeah, I even surprised myself with that grease, really. I've never I've never tried sealing it with grease, to tell you the truth. But it worked, didn't it? It just helped bung them little holes up enough so the push could get up to seat the bead. We're going to go and have a cup of tea and watch it, see how our Midas does. On yeah, back. see who wins it. We're getting to you, septic tank. We will get to you. <laughs> Look at that, lot. She's an expert now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, bit, bit, whoa. And we're going to empty that septic tank out, Mum, and then have a barbecue on that. That lever needs to be that way. Sometimes this pops out. Yeah, that's it, it's open. <laughs> Lovely little deal. Light the yeah, apparently you don't use fire lighters in, in these porcelain ones because the fire lighter absorbs into the porcelain or something so it makes the food taste yummy. That's as far as I know it. This is off the seal, look at them beauties. Oh, yeah. It's getting a bit over how to control the jobbers. There, look at that, cooked to perfection.
arrivals When my feet had touched dry land How happy I did feel Look at that old girl what Shane's got Is that a Mark 1? Is that a Mark 1? Mark 2 is it? Mark 2 look, proper job that is Got another one over there look penny for to make up through the fall working for that dog put an arrow at the river river banker the old train was so sane the very next thing you hear from me I've been tied to a bunch I just said, Ching, what's that there? It's his charge lock, because he's tanking an alternator on it. So he's got a solar panel charge on it. Never let him down, you see? Keep it! We're loaded, let's go. The light, hey! Tinker's got her eyes on it. Look, she's already at it, look already. Little bugger. Oh, look at that one, Nanny's bought up. Yeah, so Shane, that lad who just got their bales off, he's gonna, uh, he might know someone with a little Bailer. square baler, yeah, Massey Ferguson. Is it red as well? Yeah, some Fergie one, yeah, Which Massey thing? Ferguson one, square baler, and a sledge behind it and all. That means that when you've bailed it with a baler, You've got a sledge attached to the back of your baler and it'll pour it in like groups of eight or nine or whatever the bales and then it's got a grab as well what you you have on your loading shovel to grab all eight or nine bales and lift them up as a as a block Automatic. and then load them onto your trailer huh no we load a lot we, we front load interesting so next year i'm thinking if we get all the gear you know all these kids I have around here, they can all set to work, gonna go and cut other people like paddocks, because there's loads of paddocks around here, and people just want it cutting. So they can go and do the baling, go and do yeah. the cutting, collect up the bales, and then they can sell the bales for some cash, can't they? Yep. And it'll be good for them, because it's good experience, right. isn't it? Yeah. Right, we're on the T20 again. Uh, I'll try to get this going. So we're gonna get this out. I did a video on this, uh, oh, three months ago. Because uh, I've just looked back from the comments because loads of you like give me advice on what to do because it's seized up it is. So what we're going to do, we are going to take out the spark plugs and put the diesel down the cylinders. Now some of you said diesel, some of you said ATF fluid, some of you said boiling water, but we've got diesel so we're going to take it out and put diesel down it and then see if it just unseize itself. And what we're going to do and all, it's got, a cr it's got a crack in the block, well corroded block. There, it's got a corroded block under there it has, where when you put water in it, it pisses water out. So we're going to clean that up and put some chemical metal in it. Some magic chemical metal. See if it seals it.
I'm getting deja vu on this job. Yeah, we need to take these out. These sport plugs out, look out here. We need to take them out there. Oh, yeah. It's got a cylinder block in there, so then we're just going to pull a bit of diesel into that. I did put engine oil back in this, didn't I? Did I not put any engine oil in there? I did need engine oil. Yeah, I've got some, yeah. Good. That's that's the cylinder head there, and then that's the, the pistons that are in there. So we're going to remove them. Oh, yeah. And then drip a bit of oil into the cylinders. And then let it, let it uh, hopefully eat into the seized pistons. And if we keep trying it on the crank, we might be looking, it might unseize it. But we can but try, can't we? Mm, yes, yes. Right, we didn't both best number these, haven't we? Else we were getting these mixed up, we will. Or let's just take a photo. This block here, look. There, look. Right underneath that carb, there, is where the block was leaking. So we'll get a bit of something to clean that up as well. Right, let's get tooled up. Oh, our dad's got the diesel, look, that's what we need, dad, yeah. When I was uh, having a look at it three months ago, I dropped the engine oil out of it because I was going to give it to full service. And I thought I'd put the engine oil back in it, but I have, obviously haven't. So we're going to put engine oil in it. Yeah, red diesel, look. It's going to turn a rarity now. We'll have to go on the expensive stuff now, we will. But right, hold that phone then, Archie Arlen. Ready? Whoa! I've seen your fashion. Oh, that went beautiful. Was it nice? Yeah. Lovely little deal. Now we're waiting for that to develop. Yeah, we're going to use that like, SAF quick metal liquid. I don't know if it's any good. We'll find out, won't we? Yeah, we will. Hang on, has this been filled before? Why is it white? This has been filled before, look. This took our idea. They're sneaky boggers, then. Look, that's filler, look. <laughs> it's been welded before, look. It's had some welding done on it. Look. We're not the first one to do this, are we? Oh, bugger me. Oh, we need that off, don't we? Do we? Yeah. No wonder it was freshly painted when we bought this thing. They filled it up, you see, just to sell it. They've, they've done a temporary repair just to sell it, obviously, haven't they? And we've never really worked it, so we wouldn't have known any different. That's why we're finding out now, 20 years, 25 years on. I wonder if it's still under warranty. Well, well, that's two well, two different chemicals in there. That's what it's called, chemical metal. And when you mix them together, it makes a, uh, a chemical reaction. What does it make? Sorry. It goes hard, it does. Launch it on. To do a proper job, we should have took that carb off and then like got the wire wheel on it on the grinder and cleaned it up to bare metal, but... I'm not really that confident that it's going to unseize anyway, so. Right, should we try her right now? We've been waiting to try her, to just try and turn the crank over. It won't turn over. We might have to leave it weeks and weeks so I can keep topping up with it. We was trying it then pushing it, but obviously it's got four flat tyres, hasn't it? So no wonder we're not pushing it and putting pressure on the crank rail. Touch dry land, how happy I did feel. Oh, we've got three out the four pumped up tyres. Yeah, they've got a bit of a bleb in them though, Dad, so be careful. You know where we thought the block had corroded inside out? Yeah. It's been filled up before. Oh. And we've tried to look all filler lot. 
Oh, oh bloody hell. It's been welded down there, it has, all the way down there. Oh. Like about six inches of weld all the way down the block. The very next thing you hear from me, I've been tied to a board. So let, I think you, what you've got to do is let, let it soak in. Yeah, that's what I said to our art, yeah. We'll just keep trying yeah. it like that. Yeah. Obviously, then, we've, we've filled it up now twice, like propped it up twice, the cylinders. Yeah. So as you say, I think, yeah. Just yeah, let that, it just let it go soak in. That one's to be continued again, that one. <laughs> it's ongoing, that project. We'll have to just keep on trying that. Right, guys, catch you on the next one. Laters. Laters. Woo-hoo. Yeah.